listen up. You kids are supposed to bring your books with you every day. That's what we're talking about. Well, get them out. We have an assignment. Your reading assignment was last night. Dustin. That's good. That's good. Brian and Dustin, it's getting very old. I want you to sit here. Look, hold up. I'm doing it. Shh. Almost done. Continue reading Act Two. Dustin. You guys just get old. Really old. Dustin. Pacific Hill School, where early this morning a bomb blew up. A troubled teacher, his name is still disclosed, ran into the school and apparently blew himself up. Details are still sketchy at this time, but I'll get back to you with more. This is Eric Scholl in WPHS News. <laughs> That's okay. The whole point, the whole point of, the, like that, the whole point of this exercise is to, uh, you guys need to make eye contact and speak clearly, and we'll, we'll review this. Okay, let's go, Andrew. And he was rolling. I'm wasting tape. Right. I'm not going to have a lot, a lot of time. All right. And where billions of dollars worth of damages and millions of deaths <laughs> have uh, happened. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> reporting live for W Balls, Andrew Beck. Very good. Balls? You know what? <laughs> Excuse me, do it again. Oh. All right. Uh, Nick, your turn. This is Kamal Davis, report for WRZA News. I'm on location in Harlem where there was a riot. It all started when a police officer beat a man had nearly to death. In retaliation, 17 teenagers beat the two officers and set off a chain reaction where many people began to riot. There was massive damage in Harlem. The 17 teenagers are now in custody of the police. And the more to come in the upcoming hour. This has been Kamal Davis of WRZA News. Now back to the studio. That's how you do it, man. Right there. Okay, Sophie, come up here. Sophie, make Sophie. it up. Sophie. Sophie. Make it up. Sophie. Now back to the studio. Ben? Nothing against you. Dustin, let's go. Oh, now it's on. What did you do? 
it was plugged, plugged, in. In. Oh. plugged into the wrong hole. No, it didn't. Shut up. Two, one, go. Hi, this is Leonard Williams reporting. Uh, Sam the cat uh, has crawled into a tree and uh, and a fireman Bob. <laughs> and fireman Bob went up to go get him. It all happened when the owner <laughs> It all happened when the owner left the cat open and then he went like that. Okay, this is Leonard Williams reporting. Back to you guys. Okay. Okay, stay right there. No, no, no! It's like this, right? Five, four, three, two. Don't say two. Seventeen. Move your hand. Okay, we need a quiet. Let's go. 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 Seven. Seventeen people were found dead this morning at Pacific Hill School. Don't say that. That's what? absurd. <laughs> this is not a joke. Okay, I want a different. Uh, sorry, that's ridiculous. That's, you know, think this is a joke? Go to another class. Who didn't do it? Who didn't do it? Yes, I had a crossroads. No. Is it Bye. on? Robert. Yes, sir. 17 people died at Crossroads Five, four, from a... Three, two, one, quiet, go. <laughs> 17 people died at Crossroads from a reason that's unknown because of a certain... Excellent job. You got an A. Brown. Hi, this is Ben. Mr. C. No. Wait till his hand goes up. Why do I need to count down if it takes you an hour? Can I rewind all this and edit this out right now? No, no, no. This, 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 we got plenty of tape. tape. This is a recording. This is Pacific Hill School. I'm here to talk about the ASB helping the needy. They've helped contribute to chore drives and food drives. Um, from a quote from the secretary of the school, Janet Bates, she said, We're here at Pacific Hills where I just interviewed uh, members of the soccer team, and they feel that if they had a good goalie this season, they would have done a lot better than just won two games. Oh, fine, they won three games. They feel that also that if they had a very strong defense and a good offense, they would have. Here's Conrad himself. Conrad, tell us what's in style of Pacific Hills. Uh, Let's look it down. What she's wearing is not there in style. That's what's right on Perfect. Here with me is Eric Schulman, who was on who was a passenger on the bus. How are you, Eric? A little horrified. So what happened on the bus today? Well, a crazy man ran on the bus, and then he apparently waved a shotgun in the air. If you were on the bus, how can they apparently wave a shotgun? I don't know. For CNN, I'm here with General Shortscoff. General, are you about to bomb my rack? Hell yeah. Hey, no, Come on, man. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, what is the reason? Restart it, Sarah. Stay put, you well, psychotic. I'm here live for CNN. I'm here with General Shortscoff. General, what's the situation in Iraq right now? <laughs> well, we are going to bomb them because they, uh, they made us mad because uh, <laughs> they won't let the UN people in there. So we have to go and drop a nuclear on uh, Saddam Hussein's house, first of all. What do you think about 